focus, determination and practice. This 90 minute game has all the drama and heart pounding action. Get on board and explore the science behind every stunning kick, pass, shoot and more. The journey to simplify all your lessons begins. So let's kick off with extra marks. Whether or not you're a football fan, you must have seen videos of players curling the ball mid-air. What causes the ball to curve in this manner? Let's take a look. The path of a ball flying only under the influence of gravity would be restricted to a plane. But a slightly off-center kick to the ball causes it to spin horizontally. As the ball moves forward through air, air flies around the ball from the front to the back. The air will move faster around one side of the ball, resulting in less air pressure on that side. This is because faster air speed results in lower air pressure, according to Bernoulli's principle. The speed of air around the other side is slower due to the spin against the airflow, thereby resulting in more air pressure on that side of the ball. This difference of air pressure causes the ball to curve in the direction from high to low pressure and thus deviate from the planner path. This remarkable manifestation of Bernoulli's principle is called the Magnus effect. Backspin and topspin are two other shots that make use of this effect. Backspin generates an upward pointing Magnus force causing the ball to rise rapidly. Topspin on the other hand produces a downward Magnus force causing the ball to fall faster. The ball moves in different ways depending on the forces acting on it and the motion is guided by three laws. Do you know what these laws are? Watch out for our next episode.